Welcome to Film Riot, and if, if you watch our channel, you want to be a filmmaker, or at the very least, are very interested in filmmaking. So today, I wanted to take a look at some YouTube channels that I personally love and subscribe to, and I think are just must subscribe to channels for filmmakers. And starting with the first one, which is Indie Mogul. Indie Mogul has been around longer than Film Riot, and they took a hiatus for a while there, but now they are back, and the channel's now run by my friend Ted, who's just been doing a killer job of it. Griffin is back as well and they've been putting out a great mixture of things for filmmakers from you know reviews to techniques to Ted going around and discussing the art and process of filmmaking with different creators and I even guested on one of those episodes which of course you can find a link for that in the notes below. I'm not saying to just watch my episode you should, you should watch all the episodes there's a lot of episodes to watch so go Go watch them. The next channel comes from more friends of ours, and that comes from the group over at Corridor Crew, which they started their second channel a while ago, and it, it just blew up really fast. They have something like 1.3 million subscribers now, and if you're not one of them, you absolutely should be. It's a constant look behind the curtain of what they have going on there, and constantly putting out really great information, everything from behind the scenes of the latest video that they've done, to techniques and tricks that they're working on at any given time, to even legal advice about putting things on online all the way to great science fact videos because you know Ren's like wicked smart and I kind of I just want him to be my science teacher like but like a sexy science teacher <laughs> is that weird no it's not weird then we have the Aperture channel. Yes, they are a lighting company, but their channel focuses very much on education, not just promoting their gear. And we do use their gear a lot as well. We are friends with them, but there's so much great educational value coming from their channel, including their four minute film school, where they take a look at all kinds of different filmmaking techniques, especially cinematography, of course, being the fact that, you know, they're a lighting company. Moving into more VFX based channels, you of course have Video Copilot, which I, I'm sure all of you know who Video Copilot is. Andrew. Kramer is incredible, but if you are not subscribed to their channel, you absolutely should be. They don't upload that often, but when they do, it's some of the best stuff online. Then you have Red Giant, which is a software company, but their YouTube channel has a ton of great tutorials on VFX. They have Hashi from the Action Movie Kid channel now doing a lot of their tutorials. He just did one on Captain Marvel, which is really great. Another that he did around Aquaman, which shows how you could put your scene underwater. So just a bunch of really great VFX tutorials, but they also have original short films, which were written and directed by my friend Seth Worley, and great BTS that goes behind there. So just a great grouping of filmmaking resources. Then you have a somewhat new, but extremely creative channel with Cinecom. They have also blown up in a relatively short amount of time, and rightfully so. Their stuff is so creative. I specifically love their copycat videos, where they take an effect from, say, a music video and replicate it in some of the best, most outside the box thinking DIY sorts of ways. So I really relate to it and love this channel. Then we have another software company's channel, which is HitFilm, and it is interesting how some of the best resources that we have online are coming from companies like Aperture or HitFilm, and it just, it makes a lot of sense that they would do it this way. It's useful for them, but even more useful for us, but they have a ton of really great tutorials all revolving, of course, around their software, so if you do use HitFilm, this is the best resource for it. Then a channel that I just found this year is Shutterstock Tutorials, which I had no idea that Shutterstock had a YouTube channel, let alone one with great tutorials for filmmakers, and that's exactly what this is. They take looks at different techniques for filmmakers that you can apply to your work right now, not needing huge budgets. So very much a DIY sort of approach to filmmaking. Then you have Studio Binder, again, another great filmmaking resource coming from a company, but here you'll find videos like visual motifs in film, character archetypes, script breakdown tutorials, so a ton of different looks at techniques that you can really dive into in an almost analysis sort of way. Then you have Cinematography Database, which he has all sorts of things on there that you could dive into, but mostly he has his Cinetracer app, which is an app for visualizing your shots. So he's done it as a game, but it's not like anything else you'd see. And there's a bunch of tutorials on how to use it on there. And it's something that I highly suggest you get because you can dive in there and really start to figure out how to visually tell your story this way. So pre-visualizing your story 
at an insanely low cost of just buying the game, but being able to get in there, toy around with the light, and start to really figure out what kind of coverage you can pull off for the stories that you have in your head. Then there's a grouping of filmmaker vloggers that I really like to follow, like Casey Neistat, Peter McKinnon, and Maddie Hapoya. All of them uh, don't do a lot of filmmaking tutorials. They definitely do those, but it's more of an inspirational look at sort of a process in the day-to-day -day life of a filmmaker. So it's very varied, the type of thing that they put out. They'll do everything from gear reviews down to filmmaking techniques, but overall, it's just really great to keep up with the journey that each of them are going on as a filmmaker in their unique path. Then you have Tom Holkenberg's channel, who we all know more by Junkie XL, but he's a composer that's done things like Wonder Woman and Mad Max, and he's always putting really great information about how he goes about composing music for film on his channel, uploading pretty regularly. And even if you don't want to be a composer, if you just want to be a director or any kind of creative role in the filmmaking world, World, it's really great to understand what goes into musical composition for film because there's a lot there that translates to almost every creative avenue in filmmaking. Then for my last recommendation is a channel I just found because Maddie Hapoya told me to check it out and that is Potato Jet's channel. It's probably my favorite channel for gear review that I've seen so far. So definitely check that out. I love his personality. He makes it really fun and funny. It's not just dry, straightforward gear review. The whole thing's just a lot of fun to watch. So gear review that is smartly done, wrapped up in entertainment. So that's it, some of my current favorite YouTube channels for filmmakers, and I think it's really important to spread that out and watch as many different voices and viewpoints as possible when it comes to any kind of creative endeavor. That way, you're not just mimicking one source. If you're just watching Casey Neistat or Peter McKinnon, you see it a million times, you just get people who look like they wanna be Casey Neistat or Peter McKinnon or Video Copilot. It's great to spread those things out, get a lot of voices is speaking into you as a creative. That way they funnel down into ultimately who you uniquely become because you're taking the ideas and viewpoints from so many people and only keeping the things that resonate with you. So go check out all those channels. Links, of course, in the notes below. And until next time, don't forget to write, shoot, edit, repeat.